Hello and welcome to Akash AI PMT 2015 re-exam physics solution. For this purpose we have selected code A of the question paper. In this code A, the physics questions are beginning from question number 136 as you can see. And this question reads that in the spectrum of hydrogen, the ratio of the longest wavelength in the Lehmann series to the longest wavelength in the Balmer series is you have to calculate the ratio of the two lines and essentially this is uh, using the Rydberg's formula 1 by lambda is equal to r z square 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square you understand now see longest means the frequency should be minimum if you are trying to calculate the longest wavelength say first in Lehmann series that means n1 will be 1 and n2 will be 2 but if you are trying to calculate that the same thing for Balmer series longest wavelength then n1 will be 2 and n2 will be 3 and then if you calculate the ratio of these two you will be getting the value 5 by 27 and that will be the answer to question number 136. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 137. Now the next question that is question 137 which is you can say memory based uh, question. It says that the energy of the EM waves is of the order of 15 kilo electron volt. This is what is given to you. To which part of the spectrum does it belong? So it is a kind of question in which you have to know the order of you can say wavelength or frequency of these rays which have been given. It is always good that you remember them in terms of wavelength. Say if you calculate the wavelength here lambda you can say it is hc by e, e is energy here and h is Planck's constant, c is uh, speed of light. If you will calculate lambda, lambda will be coming out approximately around 1 angstrom with uh, the given value of 15 kilo electron volt. If you calculate of the order of 1 angstrom it will be coming. So it will be falling into the range of x-rays. Had it been be much lower than 1 angstrom then you can say it will be gamma rays. In infrared rays approximately you can say 10,000 angstrom, if it is ultraviolet then approximately around uh, 100 angstrom you can say, slightly more than 100 angstrom, maybe up to 1000. So whatever the question has been given, the data which has been given in the question based on that the wavelength value which is coming that is approximately 1 angstrom, so it is falling into the range of X-rays. So I will be marking answer 2 for this particular question. Now switch over to next question that is question number 138. 